Hi, I'm Peter Murray, and in this short video I'd like to introduce you to the Mark Bass Distorsore pedal. The Distorsore is a tube distortion pedal that gives you enough control to create a wide variety of distortion sounds, ranging from subtle overdrive to full-on fuzz tone chaos. Now let's have a closer look. Let's have a look at the controls on the Distorsore. The stack pot on the left side controls gain and volume. Gain is the smaller black knob and it controls the instrument input level from minus 10 to plus 20 dB. You can use the gain here to hit the tube in the pedal harder and add to your distortion. The yellow volume knob on the bottom of the stack pot controls the output volume from the pedal and allows you to control whether the pedal acts as a boost or whether it keeps the same volume level whether the pedal is on or off. The onboard compressor allows you to compress your signal before it's sent to the tube. The clip LED helps you to set the optimal gain level for your instrument signal. Tube drive controls the intensity of the distortion. The higher this is, the more extreme your distortion will be. The low pass filter allows you to distort only the lower frequencies by gradually cutting out the high frequencies that are sent through the distortion. It only lets the lows pass through the filter. This gives you a darker distortion. The on LED indicates that the pedal is on. The high pass filter allows you to distort only the high frequencies by gradually cutting out the low frequencies that are sent through the distortion. It only lets the highs pass through the filter. That makes for a brighter distortion. Mix controls the balance between the clean and distorted signals. And here's where the tube is. You'll notice a really nice tube glow when the pedal is on. Here's the on-off switch for the pedal. When the pedal is off, your signal goes directly from the input jack to the output jack without any degradation of audio quality. On the rear of the pedal, we have the input jack where you plug in your bass. And here's where you plug in the supplied 12 volt power supply. And the output jack connects to your amp. So now we know what all the controls do on the pedal, it's time to hear how they sound. So here we are, all set up and ready to try the Mark Bass Distorsore pedal. I have it plugged into the wall using the supplied 12 volt power adapter. And for the purposes of this test, I'm going to be using a Ernie Ball Music Man Bongo 5 string, as well as the Mark Bass Mini CMD 121P combo through the New York 121 extension cabinet. So this is in total 500 watt, uh, 4 ohms. 212 rig. Let's make some noise. As we've seen, the controls on the Distorsore allow you to get a lot of different kinds of distorted tones um, by balancing the different, the different levels of gain, the amount of compression, the amount of distortion relative to the clean signal, uh, the amount of distortion itself, and then whether you use low pass and or high pass filters to filter the distortion uh, so you, you're either only distorting the highs or only distorting the lows. Uh, we can get pretty full range gnarly distortion. distorted signal through a high pass filter, which means that we're only distorting the highs. 
next thing I like to do. Keeps the lows tighter. You might mix in some clean signal. That, that's giving us a, a much hotter signal so we can adjust our, um, our output volume. Please write to us at info at markbase.it. Ciao for now.